Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are back with Monster. I will be watching episodes 11 and 12. And before we start talking about Monster, since this is the first video that I'm making since I heard the news about uh, Kira Toriyama's passing, I just wanted to say that may he rest in internal peace and I wanted to thank him through the video as well for everything that, that he has done and whether you uh, like Dragon Ball or not, you probably heard about it and you are very, very aware that it influenced anime in a big way and that without Dragon Ball perhaps we wouldn't have this many amazing shows today, man. And it's, it's, it's weird, right? It's a person that you never saw in person, that you never talked to and you feel so fucking heartbroken man because he literally like make my childhood bro i watched dragon ball since i was six i was going not even in elementary school uh how do you say that in english it's like year before elementary school like preschool i remember watching dragon ball during lunch breaks man and my first album with stickers was dragon ball and i remember playing with my friends all the time Ah, like, it really sucks, it really sucks, man. He is a legend and he will, uh, his legacy will continue living through his work, man, forever with Dragon Ball. And yeah, it still just feels so unreal, man. Some time ago we also lost the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh, man, and it was tragic because he was trying to save someone's life man two really really amazing mangakas both of them influencing a lot of people all over the world and their lives man but yeah that's life oh, i just wanted to to talk a little bit about that man i just feel like that's 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 right thing to do and yeah when it comes to monster yet another <laughs> brilliant show man i really like uh, previous two episodes they were very different but both showing us what type of person tenma is shout out to that guy hugo who trained uh tenma and teaching him how to use a gun he didn't want to reveal where he went to Lunge, right and even Lunge was like okay you're free to go he respected that he knows as well that i mean Lunge, i just have a feeling that Lunge knows that tenma is not the type who would commit these murders right i don't know i just have that feeling because he interacted with him and Lunge seems quite smart so the stuff with the girl it was brilliant man poor girl lost her mom while Hugo was in Myanmar, right? She had a gun, he thought that she will shoot, shoot at him and she probably would, we can never tell that for sure, man, but he took the girl in and he said that the girl will despise him for the rest of her life, right? But that wasn't the case because Tenma literally influenced both of them and Thanks to Tenma, the girl was able to smile and it's like she built a proper like father and daughter bond with with Hugo, man. So a freaking amazing episode right there. Totally unexpected, man. But it makes sense that Tenma would go to through some learning experience regarding how to shoot a gun, right? And not only how to operate a, a gun but also to get fit to get in right physical condition and the other episode was insane with that little what was his name heckle or something with buck teeth that little fucking red looking thief that went with Tenma to the house where murders were committed and Johan hired another guy to do it the guy offed himself in front of Tenma <laughs> He has no reaction at all, man. He's like completely immune to that shit. How many horrible things he witnessed already. And Johan, but he couldn't stay 
with the poker face when he saw that message. Look at me, Dr. Tenma, the monster inside of me keeps uh, raising, right? It's fucking nuts. Johan is insane. I don't know how is he pulling that off, man. He is like a perfect manipulator. I don't know what he does to these people, man. It's truly, truly terrifying, man. And I like that Tenma is no longer like, it's he's no, no longer a doctor, right? But he also like doesn't want to help people who would possibly turn out to be like another Johan, right? Another monster. He changed his perspective. So until he realized that that guy was speaking the truth, that was dying, right? That he was supposed to stop his bleeding. And when he realized that he, he was genuine, he decided to help him. So I really like that detail as well. I think they got captured by the end of the episode. So yeah, we are moving on now. I know that I can expect anything and I'm looking forward to, to more man. So without further ado, let's start episode number 11. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, everything is ready. Let's go. <laughs> ベルリンの中心から車で20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分。20分
Oh boy. There is the location in the church bells. She just walks past him and says that. They're gonna build another little. Minister of Health and Welfare. It's very weird that she keeps saying, Oh, what a creepy building, what a creepy building. It's not what some old lady would usually say. From my experience, like older folks love the old buildings, they don't, they don't want them destroyed. He's asking a little boy who probably came out from a fucking fight or something. Or maybe he fell. Oh. Yep, when I was a child, man, I always... When I fell, it's like... An unwritten rule that I hurt my elbow or my knees, man. They were always bloody, bro. I was playing football all fucking day. Hartman? Virit. Okay, we need Hartman. Are we gonna see the picture of that boy? Oh, a lot of uh, foster parents in this show so far. He seems like a very nice guy. Yeah, he's doing it happily. Yeah, he's doing it happily. あの、当時から政府のやり方では反対でしたからね。なりのやり方で子供たちの力になれないのかと。貧乏なんで思った通りにはいきませんが。しかし、彼らも以前の個人に因果配慮は厚生省と内務省との共同管轄の特別個人法
そして初めて子供は素晴らしい夢をどんな夢を持ってるサッカーボールえ ?Wants to be a footballer or he just wants a ball? ごちそうさまでした。You know very well that Tenma is coming again with a ball. I just hope it doesn't end up like when he was going back to Mr. Junkers with a clock, man. Because I'm starting to get a little sussy of this guy. The child's dream is a ball, so this guy is not providing him shit probably, man. Oh my god, my bro! Is perhaps that, that the reason why he was hurt as well? Why, bro, why? But this is... The world is full of fucked up people, man. He got him the ball, bro. Tell me, it's so fucking nice. Probably not something wild that... He killed him or something, man. The boy is screaming. Oh, Tenma is breaking that. What on earth? He's lying. He, did he break his his arms? Man, this is so rough to watch, man. I'm getting fucking pissed. Tenma is a doctor. Oh, the bruises from the hits. Oh my god, this guy is sick. He is a psycho. Yeah, of course, Tenma will figure out what's happening. And he doesn't know that Tenma is a doctor. Ex doctor. Oh, be careful. This, this guy might have a weapon. He will piece it together. He was a famous neurosurgeon. この体中の傷は痛いですか救急車と一緒に警察も呼びました。ハルトマンさん、ディーターのこの傷はどうして着いたのかと聞いているんです。あなたのような人殺しで殺すが逃亡犯だ。気が短いようですね。あなたのような人
that is for perhaps still operational. Oh, he wants to bring Dieter here. This is the orphanage where Anna went. Uh, uh, that rings a bell. He seems to like Anna. とっても仲のいい兄弟だったけど、二人は別々の個人に入れられて、かわいそうだった。あの子たち、ここに来る前は、本当に二人きりだったんだからね。チェコスロバキアの国境線あたりで保護された時も。Near he wouldn't let go of his sister. Johan really loves Anna. Koichi一気にだハイムと一緒にしないでほしいの。インゲ、トイレはそっちじゃないでしょ。she oh man i thought she might be like sleepwalking or something yeah orphanage Nice。あそこは厚生省と内務省共同管轄の特別個人だったけど。So we learned that from that guy. そこは旧東ドイツの。Germany's experimental laboratory. Bro. What the fuck was going on there, man? And so we get to learn more. So it might be the case that Johan is just the product of the fucked up government, man. Maybe he was a normal boy. Maybe he changed in that fucking orphanage, man. Holy fucking shit. Shout out to, to this woman in this orphanage, man, for resisting becoming such a horrible place, man, and basically using kids as guinea pigs, man. That is so fucked. On so many levels. The story gets deeper and deeper, man. Who knows what they did to Johan. I just hope that this kid, Dieter, bro, escapes from that guy. It's funny how we see how horrible he is treated a little experiment and the guy who go with that girl completely opposite. Psychological reconstruction modifying humans. What did they do, bro? That is so brutal. Allowed kids to join factions and fight. Monsters? Yeah. Of course. でも私聞いたことがあるんだ。たった一人だけ。one person, who is it? Pediatric psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah, this is yet another, yet another like connection to the doctors, right? And when you 
I will just let it play. Basically, Tenma will realize how fucked up they are. So wait, I'm so sorry guys for going back again. So that's literally him. She's talking about him. He was the overseeing that project. It would make sense that he knows about Johan though and the way he was shaking. And that explains why he's such a fucked up person, man. By that incident, he will go again. But the guy was starting to talk about a revolt, right? It's Dieter asking about the ball. Oh my god, if that fucker opens the door instead of Tenma. Mysterious death of the director of the orphanage. Yeah, I, I feel Tenma. Look at his reaction, man. This shit's pure evil. It's freaking abandoned kids. What the fuck? All of those people. Bruh. No wonder Johan is like that. He's remembering his words. Oh no. Oh no, as he was remembering those words. There is no light, there is darkness again, bro. This show is fucking insane. <laughs> Look at poor kid's expression. This show is gonna kill me, bro. Oh my god. Please, Tedma, please. Please. <sighs> He's not even taking him home. Does he intend to kill this child? Why? Why, you sick bastard? Why, you psychopath? Why, you fucking pussy? He's squeezing his arm. Look at that, those... It wasn't her, it was some another nurse. And he has probably legal documents and everything. Yeah, of course, I thought that as well at first. I even called him a nice person. Please let it not be too late. The lights are out because they are not there. Who knows what kind of crazy shit he can find after learning that he is such a horrible person. The pictures with his adopted children. And you could never like tell from these pictures that anything is wrong. That's so crazy. Taken at the same place, but at different times. Johan! Wait! But who is that person that, that's in the picture? That's not that dude. Five hundred eleven. The orphanage. So all the kids that were with this guy were from there. Killed each other off, man. Oh, like, I can't even like imagine that. Do you think he's 
heading there to the abandoned orphanage with Dieter. That guy is clearly mental as well. He's he's insane. Man, I have a bad feeling, bro. If the poor kid has died. Yo, this is giving me vibes from the episode 4, bro. The sound of wall. This is so fucked. Oh my god, I can hear the fire burning. Is he alive? Please tell me that he's alive. Oh no, he doesn't look well as well. Poor child. He's holding something. What do you mean he can't see it? Let's see what Johan saw from here. This guy is trying to recreate another Johan. He's completely gone, bro. Mentally. He's trying to create another spawn of the devil. Are those like gun marks? Oh my god, <laughs> he was watching all of them murder each other, bro. What is he doing? I just poured a little oil on it. Yeah, that is fucking crazy. <laughs> so he was manipulating 50 people into killing each other. <laughs> あ、私たちが。そんな。彼は頂点に立つべき人間だったんだよ。Last person remaining in this world, not even like thinking about his sister. Please, Tenma, please, Tenma, please, just. Quick draw and shoot at him, bro! Please! No way! Bro, he has a little fucking shotgun! You know very well that Tenma is not gonna leave Dieter there, man. That's not happening, that's not an option. General Wolf! Mm. <laughs> Dieter! 
The kid does seem a little bit brainwashed. I mean, a little bit. <laughs> I'm afraid that kid will stay with this guy. Because Tenma already brought him light and hope and it was extinguished. So the kid probably feels no hope anymore. Wait, is he actually standing up? He's walking towards Tenma. No. Holy shit, he's becoming very desperate. Bro. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. Oh my god. Are we really gonna resolve this without blood spill? Holy shit. Yeah, this guy looks in pain. He has like some sort of crazy twisted look. Oh my god, this show is too much, bro. What to the woman that he was talking to? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of fuck that he's sending a kid alone, man, but it is what it is. And is a wanted man. <laughs> a nice conclusion. Wow. Pass it back. He wants to stay with him. He will keep passing it, man. <laughs> oh my god, this is so sad, bro. Holy shit, bro. Like, he feels sad living alone a little like puppy or kitty, let alone a child, man. Ah, this fucking show, bro. It's so damn good, man. Fuck. We are getting to discover more about Johan and his background. We learn about these two orphanages. One where Anna was and one where Johan was. Where Johan was, it was like experimental and... It turns out that it was experimental for creating like perfect soldiers, right? It wasn't something terrible that I at first thought like some sort of like lobotomies or shit, man. But I can't believe like it's like Johan is devil, literally. For a child that young to manipulate 50 people adults into killing each other that has to be a special talent man he like added oil to the fire man i don't know the details what did he do but he 100 percent caused that man petra and schumann okay he, he 100 percent caused that but we don't know how man that's insane johan is such a terrifying villain, man. He's such a menace. I can't believe this shit. And this guy, this fucker, the way he was tweeting, Dieter made my blood boil, man. Guys, not gonna lie, I thought that Dieter was dead, man. I was about to lose my shit, man. But luckily, we had a nice conclusion, man. And that guy... Like, nobody died. That guy didn't shoot. Thelma didn't shoot him. He was really in pain at the end, right? For Dieter to leave him. 
he thinks what he's doing is like genuinely caring for his children, right? He's a fucked up dude, man. He generally felt, uh, felt like he was in pain while Dieter was descending the stairs. Man. But good for Dieter, man. And I was thinking because he was remembering the words that Tenma told him about the tomorrow will be a good day, that the future is bright, right? And when that guy appeared in the hospital and took him away and make him witness this shit, man, I thought like this child is gone, man. His psyche won't take it, man. He will try to stay with this guy. He will have the mindset of, of uh, future is dark, right? The world is dark and that he will stay. But he mustered up like courage and he had a little bit more hope in him and he went to Tenma, man. Dieter, Dieter is a strong child, man. That was so nice to see, man. I'm genuinely so happy that we got a conclusion like that to this little story, man. Next person to talk to, freaking General Wolf. You can't assume anything based on how characters look in this show. Man. You have characters like Lunge and that guy, uh, Hugo, who look evil as fuck but they don't they're actually not and then we have characters like this guy and Johan as well who looks like chillest guys ever and they're literally demons man so you can ju judge by the character design and I'm talking about that because the guy in the picture seems fucking evil as well man but also at the same time he is connected to those experiments at the orphanage he probably is fucked up. He's the one who brought Johan there, so he probably knows. This guy said that he, he knows about Johan's skill, man. So we are gonna dig even deeper when it comes to Johan. And it's crazy that we know so much about him, but yet nobody can catch him, nobody can trace him. It's like he doesn't exist. He shows up, he manipulates people into doing murder and he disappears like a wind and then you are left with a bunch of fucked up individuals thanks to Johan to talk to and you gather information little by little like you are collecting breadcrumbs man and we are still not even close to revealing where Johan is, man, and how he operates, man. Again, we didn't see Anna, it seems like they are saving that for later episodes, but I'm really enjoying these little, like, let's say, like, side quests, I mean, Emma going to where, wherever he can, right, to try to learn about Johan's whereabouts, it makes sense. All the locations and all the uh, all the things that Tenma is doing are perfect for what he's trying to do, right? It all makes sense, man. But still, he didn't actually learn that much. All that he keeps learning is that Johan was probably born like that, man. Like I don't know. Like I really thought that. Maybe Johan changed in that orphanage, man, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like he possessed that skill even before. It's crazy calling that skill, man, but yeah, that general wolf is our next target for conversation or maybe something else, man. Holy crap. Really awesome stuff as always, guys. I think I will end it here for today. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya, guys.